Hey guys, your pontiff is in the house. Your pontiff is here. Guys, I just want to talk to you today about about watches and I wanted to to say to you searching. It's the hunger, hunger buster, hunger buster, hunger, hunger, hunger buster. The constant search for the next piece. And I gotta tell you guys, gotta, 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 gotta tell you, I, um, I'm basically finished. Yeah, yeah, that's right, guys. I, I, you get it, you get to a stage in life where you basically get content. It's like going to a buffet and you've pigged out, you've gone to a few buffets for the last week. And, you know, you have the lobster claw, the crab, the, all the expensive stuff. Stayed away from the rice, bread, and vegetables. Then eventually, you're full. You're really full. And you don't need to keep gorging. You just say, I'm full. I am full. That's correct. You get full. You get very full. And I, I got to be totally honest with you. You know what, guys? You know what? I reckon for most of you guys out there, you could be full on two watches. That's right, guys. Two combo meal deal. Let's bring it up. And I'll show you what I mean. And guys, if you're part of the crew, come on now. Your pontiff needs you. Two-piece hunger buster. Look at this, black and white. <clears throat> Polar Explorer 2, 42, and a subby date, 41 mil. Now, it doesn't matter if you go no date. It doesn't matter if you've gone for a black dial. This two-piece hunger buster could be all you really need for your life. Dress watches are dead. They're dead. Hey, Marco, how are you? Make me a Marco. All does well, Arch. How are you? Hey, I'm fantastic. Hey, could you do me a small favor? What I'm going to do is, from now on, you know how we do paid watch reviews on the channel? Sure, 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 sure. I'm going to make it $75. Okay. Hear me out, but you also get, I will do a video on my own for the poor Pluto channel. So you get double banger value. Mm. If you could do me a favor, you had an email from Muhammad. We did his, I've just gone through the last transactions. Could yeah. you please send me that details? Yeah, let me forward it to you. Give me one second. Thank you. Hello, Tim. How are you? Hi, Archie. How's it going? Tim, hunger busters. Hunger, hunger busters. Right there. That's perfect two piece. That's all a man that really needs. That is all you need. That is all you dress watches. It's not the 1990s. That's over, sunshine. Exactly. Right. That Explorer too. So <laughs> underrated. For the longest oh. time, people wouldn't buy it. I can't believe it. Jeez. That, now, it doesn't matter if you have got a date or no date. 40 mil, 41 mil. All I can tell you is it's got to be the new class. It's got to be the new class. You've got to have ceramic bezel, preferably, mm. and the new class. That is it. That's our hunger buster. Now, you know, if you really wanted to be fancy wancy, you could replace that Explorer with a GMT. Mm. A Pepsi, a Batman, a Bruce Wayne. You could do the lot. Here we go. Look at this. Some super chats are coming in, man. Sorry, Arch. Hold on one second. Yeah. Watches Global V2. $30. Have a drink, Arch. Tim, second edible, please. Four twenty. Thank you. Hey, I just want to say to you guys, the hunt. Are you craving watches? What's going on? 
Are you craving watches or not? Nope. Sorry? Heck no, Arps. There's, I can't crave watches with no money to buy any. <laughs> right, I think that's how it works, right? Cheers. Cheers. Cheers, Archie. Archie. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta tell you something. Can I, can I tell you something seriously or not? I don't know. Nobody's watching, are they? Sorry, so that's, that's the first drink. Cheers to Watches Global. Thank you, Watches Global. This guy is so super cool. Very Wait, can you cool. put a, can he put a logo? Can you put something so that you're more memorable? I mean, this yeah. guy's so amazing. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah, because like LA Math, which he's got that dog. I recognize yeah. him every time. Yeah. Yeah, please. Alex K, we, can all, we always know his uh, Giga Lacoutre blue dial. Yeah, MS that's fan. exactly it. Exactly hmm. it. Now, just get if we could just click on column, comb, two yep. euros 30. What super speeders missing Panerai, a YouTube stunt? Was super speeders missing pan? I don't think it was. That's Rob. Rob Ferrelli. I've been a fan of super speeders. Rob from... Gotham Dream Cars. Just between you and me, I think I don't think I'd hire a car from him. Hmm. Arch, what's okay. your email again? Archie Luxury seventy two yeah, at gmail dot com. That's also where you guys can send PayPal donations. Hmm. Let me just. Explain I just forwarded you. you that uh, collection. Thank you. Let me just explain this to you, Rob Ferrelli. Guess what? That has been the inspiration for me hunting down the watch for James. Was it a stunt? I don't think it was, because one is a Breitling. I would never fess up to actually owning a Breitling. I'd never fess up to actually losing a Breitling. And I'd never fess up to wanting it back. That's a joke. Come on. I think it... I gotta be... I think it... I don't think it was a... I don't think it was a stunt. No, I think it was real. Who knows? Weirder things have happened. Let me tell you this, guys. Let me say this to you, okay? I want to embrace, I want to embrace, I'm not just ready to make this announcement. You know, you know, okay, I, I, I'm not going to say it just to them. Okay, I'll, I'll come out and say it. Okay, guys. Oh, boy. Uh-oh. We love our collectibles, right? Mm. You love uh -oh. your collections. What have well, you done, Arch? You know how we got to be happy in our home, don't we? We've uh -oh. got to be happy. I've been doing a bit of changing the studio look at this i've got the corner double bookcases you see that mm. sharp okay so i spent all yesterday moving all the books out to, to so i could move them two feet <laughs> but guess what it allowed me to do the shrine is closer to you no i've got a second shrine <gasps> double shrine because you know you know if you have a paddock shrine you need a rolex shrine also right you know I got a thing for Birkin. Women's goods. Leather leather, 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 leather. Leather, leather. So I've actually, so I've got a, I've got one. This is my, um, oh my boy. next shrine. <laughs> and next door. <laughs> and guess what, Timmy? Guess what, Timmy? <laughs> shoes down below. Birkin's oh. unloved Birkin was there. <laughs> yeah, I agree. Column two euros thirty. Good YouTuber, but no way I'd hire from him. Exactly. He tracks you. If you go over your speed limit, I think he. So there we go. I've got the shoes, and I got Miss Cat. Look at that. The cat kitty. Hello kitty there. A Hello kitty. What do you think? <laughs> What do you think, it's there, guys? Oh my the god. The pink shoes down the bottom. Should I be embarrassed? No, I've decided no longer to be embarrassed. On the blue luxury carpet. Mm. Mm. Luxury, mm. luxury carpet. There we go. Well, that's it. That's the huge announcement. What do you think? That's amazing. What is the prayer, by the way? What is the prayer? How do you. How does one pray to the. <laughs> Burke Paddock? Oh, this is. Oh, that's the prayer rug. <laughs> Just sit there and, and pray to Jesus to bring in a ostrich. I really want an ostrich Birkin. <laughs> you know, I stumbled on the ostrich Birkin, the red color ostrich Birkin on 
I sent it to you. Oh, you did? Oh, I I, I don't know how. I wasn't on the, I was on the train yesterday. It's thirty thousand. Yes, I think we were looking at the same one. That's Australian. That's that's Australian. That's not that's not US. Oh. Thirty thousand. Thirty thousand. But it looks so sharp. Crocodile's a hundred, yeah. sunshine. Impossible. Look at this. MS fan, what a good guy. Hey, at Marco, thanks. Mm. I will send AC3 the full collection and another PayPal for an extended review. He already did the live review. No need for the extra effort. What a good thing. guy. Mm. Thank you, MS fan. So cool. He's a cool guy. So cool. Amazing. I gotta tell you guys. Please. Please, please, please. You've gotta enjoy your collectibles. Art, did you see the awful story of uh, the man who was who was murdered because he was wearing a Rolex in the UK and they killed him to get oh, the Rolex when, when off his wrist? Yeah, I'll pull up the story if you want to see it. Yeah, pull it up, pull it up. What, what the, the hell? hell? It's ridiculous. Stephen McMiler, wig man, murdered for eleven thousand pound Rolex watch. Now, oh, which one was it? Kicked forcibly to the head in the attack. Mm. The court heard. Awful. Can you imagine? It's the safety clasp. It's the safety clasp. Impossible to rip it off your hand. His 18 carat watch he was wearing. It was 18 carat. I think. What was it? Probably a 36 day date. Oh. What that's do you think, worth... watch? Man, he should have just give that watch away. That's that's what I do. When when if somebody comes to rob me, I just like, hey, here you go. Here you go, sir. Would you like the box and papers, sir? Yeah. I can bring it <laughs> so back to you. Yeah, yeah, just give me your address. I'll send you the box and papers. I I wouldn't want to separate the watch from uh from its box and papers. Awful. Can that's you imagine, cool. Arch? What does it say? What? It oh, look at that. The Rolex Submariner watch was never recovered. It's worth more than eleven thousand pounds. If it's a gold Rolex, sub. It, it, it might have been a two tone. Oh, it might have been, been, yeah. Because they, they make mistakes with this stuff, you know what I mean? Yeah, right. Maybe pre-ceramic, be... pre-ceramic. Awful, can you imagine? Oh, Man, the UK really has to solve that because this is, like, this is getting, I mean, mm. seriously bad. That's the danger of the bluesy. Oh, guys, you should Here we really go. Super be chats. super careful. Here we go, super chats. Here we go. <gasps> EPC acquisitions, $2. New Beth T, latest video. Get it up, ratings go. What does she do? I have no idea. I haven't watched it, but we can pull it up in a second. Yeah. Calm, £2.30. Is that room secure enough to store Birkins? <laughs> yes. Aaron <laughs> Levin. Yes. Aaron posted the, what's it called? Remember that, uh, the stripper in the... Uh, yes. That yes, stripper yes, one yes. that you, that were had up one was it yesterday or the day before? Yes. You stole the AP and the Rolex. Yes, 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 exactly right. Here we go. Pick of my thirty-six mil in the Hamptons. Arch, fifty dollars for a live prayer session. Please pray to the shrine. You really want to see a? Prayer you gotta do it, Arch. Session. Okay, we we can. There's there's nothing wrong with with with. I'm gonna pray. Let's just take pray. this off the screen. Watch pray, a little pray, bit. Pray. Wait, turn it more now. towards Arch. You gotta turn it more <laughs> towards us. There we go. Oh, this boy. is ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> Why is this global? <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh my god youtube gold right here guys oh my god archie 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 oh, boy. oh. There you go, Arch. Watch it global. Oh, he can't hear us. <laughs> oh, oh my God. What the fuck is going on? <laughs> oh, my God. Too much. 
I love you, oh. Taj. Ooh. Oh, oh my god. Oh. That got me going. Oh. Oh. Mark, I gotta tell you, man. I don't know. Oh, oh my god. What the fuck? I'm addicted to pink spankings. You know that? <laughs> Arc. Unbelievable. Un I almost couldn't believable. stop. I almost <laughs> couldn't stop. <laughs> oh my god. Here I we go. What? Watches Global V2, $100. I love, I love you too. Anyone who gives me $100 mm. and lets me prey on my rug, I love you too. God bless you, Watches Global. Oh, and he changed yeah. the avatar. Yeah, Thank you so much. His, what a cool his, guy. Yeah, in the Hamptons. That was shot <laughs> in the Hamptons. That's not it would be different if it was shot in the Bronx or in East Second Forty Second Street. That would be diff wouldn't be quite as cool as the Hamptons. Hamptons. You know the Hamptons? Yeah. You know the Hamptons? Oh That's my That's where God. all the good people live. Man, know? the Hamptons. Oof. I, I, wish... I gotta tell you, man. I don't know what I just watched. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta provide entertainment. I'm an entertainer. I gotta provide entertainment, entertainment for the viewers. Genius. You know. Now would be a great time to remind people, guys, if you want to get a collection review done, seventy-five dollars mm -hmm. super chat, or you can PayPal Archie. Send me your yeah. collection. We'll do it live on air. Exactly. Oh. And if you, if you please, if you have done the. Super chat payment, please email me archieluxury72 at gmail.com the pictures and just put in the description line super chat so I, I can remember. I can remember because I, I want to give value. Oh, yes, the Beth TV. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Let me By get the way, PC. guys, Jeez. I will be hiking through the Hampton. Thank you for reminding me, PC. I almost forgot. Jesus. I'm going to be hiking with my wife through the Hamptons. That's so cool, man. Yeah, it's like By the way, it, there's a trail. Jesus. It's 125 what miles. All right, so you know it's going to be a good vid. Look miles. at this thumbnail. Oh my Ooh. god! Go to Look. vacation watch. Mm. Eh? Oh the video god. is Where vertical. Where the hell is that? I don't know. Oh, it looks like a Hilton Resort. Amazing. Mexico. Extapa, oh, Mexico. Oh, wow. That's wow. amazing. That is absolutely amazing. Mm. No, you don't think so? I reckon that's amazing. Gorgeous. Absolutely. Wow. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. The video is shite, though. Like, the place looks amazing. Oh, you got a Pepsi. <gasps> a blips. Pepsi, Pepsi, Pepsi. Oh, here, here's what we want to see, right? She's she's very gorgeous. She's okay. Gorgeous. That's enough. That's enough for one day. That's I enough. don't know if I like that bikini. I'm not a big fan of that one. I'm sorry. No, no, that's okay. I, what I like about her is she's um, it takes a lot of guts to do that on YouTube. Oh yeah. Stand up in your bikini. Yeah. And everyone... Or get spanked by a pink you gotta slipper. You got to be professional to do that. <laughs> Y'all should do a collaboration, Archie. Yes. Hey, hey, how are you? Do you think Alex Beth T guys? would spank Archie? <laughs> <laughs> how much super chat do we need to, to, to make that happen? Oh my god, Beth YouTube T. ratings gold. I think I think Beth T is like super super loaded, isn't she? She's not just loaded, she's ridiculous loaded. Yeah, hundred percent. Yeah. I gotta tell you, I'm actually pretty pretty um happily married so i i won't be partaking in, in good man life. arch good man yeah, yeah. turning a no, new leaf guys turning a new leaf. I, I think that's yeah I, I think it's cool if that's the way to go things guys i gotta tell you tell you what she's um she's absolutely gorgeous that one isn't she cool like how old is she how old do you reckon beth t is early 30s no oh no late 20s <laughs> late, late 20s, 20s. right Look, for me, she's, anyone who, who's under... You think she's new money or old money? Definitely old money, right? No idea. All I know, it's not my money. <laughs> right, right. There you go. You no, know, my God. She's uh, she's she's gorgeous, okay? I got to tell you, she is absolutely smoking hot. Absolutely mm. smoking. Smoking, smoking, smoking hot. Mm. And... Um, 
Jeez, I got $15 in my PayPal account. That was good. I was just looking for lunch money today. $15.27. Thank you. What did I... Oh, I put gas in the car. Netflix, gas. I paid my internet... Uh, my my, my uh, a broadband. Okay, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Okay, that's life. That's life in the fast lane. Um, Archie... Luxury live stream, please check your PayPal. Oh. Oh. He sent it to archieluxury72 <laughs> at gmail.com. I hope so, because, yeah, you know what, yeah. guys, I would like to. <laughs> I'm th what do you think, guys, if I actually. My wife doesn't want to do any bag videos with me. Should I hire somebody to do them with, like a girl? Oh, Muhammad! Don't say his last name. Let's not talk to him. That's <laughs> just amazing. My God. My heart. That's just incredible. Mm. Incredible. 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 My God. Okay. I, forwarded, I forwarded the email to you, so you should have it. Thank you so much there. Guys, I want to tell you something, okay? Marco, mm. what's going on? Tell me what's happening. Please tell me the story. Okay? The Bruce Wayne should is expected to arrive by April 28th. April 28th. Let's cross our fingers, our April toes, our eyes. 28th. Right. That's the expected delivery, but he MJT said usually it comes in, you know, maybe a couple days before. But hey, whatever. Yankee Doodle, good man. Guys, Patreon. We need our Patreon supporters. Wow, that's just amazing, man. I tell mm. you what. That is absolutely Yankee amazing. Dude. We've got Irix guy. What's Irix guy up to? What's he up to, that dude? Yeah. Oh, oh man. Quiet. just uh, He's on his afternoon stroll. <laughs> yeah, out of, out of control out here just walking and talking. and What, what are you up doing videos of, of now, Irix guy? How are you surviving? What, what sort of content are you making? I'm doing a lot of exercise equipment. Um, obviously, wrist watches. I'm doing uh, a lot of tech. Robotic vacuums. Have you ordered a robotic vacuum yet? No. Like a shark? I don't. Okay. I got too much stuff in my room to. You need to get one of those, man. It'll take care of the carpet beetles. <laughs> I got it, synthetic it just, carpet now. I know, but I'm sure there's some pieces you could throw in there just for old time's sake. So tell me this what are you doing then? Are you surviving? You're making a living out of the YouTube? Oh, yeah. Yep. But I still need, uh, you know, like you, I mean, it's our viewers and our channel memberships and our Patreon and our Super Chats that make it... Because yeah. uh, you do a lot of general stuff, don't you? Yeah, I do pretty much anything. A lot of tutorial videos. Um, you know, Wait, what's your channel about Irish? How to repair yeah. a dishwasher. What's that? What, what's your, what, like, what kind of content do you make? What's your channel all about? Gotta be honest, I've never checked well, it out, but I'll give you a subscription right now. Well, his his, his famous yeah, video was how, how to get free drinks on a cruise. You smuggled them in your yeah. luggage. That oh, was okay. His, <laughs> that was his a lot shtick, of travel right? tutorials and and you know just being cheap, man. You know you gotta secretly you put it into the wheels of yeah. your luggage. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You you can you can get it. You can do all kinds of cool stuff, but yeah, that's the general. <laughs> I've checked yours out too. Oh, wait, you didn't read Yankee Doodle Super Chat. Oh, Yankee Doodle, $2. I signed up your Patreon today. $20 a month. Thank you, Yankee Woo! Doodle. That's right, guys. Arch cannot survive on Google Ads alone, right? Exactly. exactly. You need to support them any way you can. Google paid reviews, Google. Patreon, Super Chats. Exactly. And you've got channel memberships now, too, don't you? On YouTube. Right. Exactly. That's on the live streaming. Yeah, I've been doing that. That's, that's, look, you don't want to do too much. I think you've got to be a bit careful. You know what I mean? Otherwise, you mm. get fragmented, you know? Mm. Yeah. But i got to tell you guys, it's, um. Arch, right, you got to get some better emotes. i got to tell you. These emotes. Tim, Tim, you need to make some emotes for our dog, Tim. Come on. I told him to email me pictures that he wants me to make emotes out of you need to make a hermes bag emote yes has oh, to be you, a you want me to send you you want me to send you some so the patek cross yeah, send me some stuff the patek cross stuff. needs to be a. Uh, the patek cross is another one mm -hmm. okay you have I'll to have that you, i tell you what um, rolex crown that's another one wow got you man 
that's so mm. cool. Um, I gotta and say, Ming. you guys, Ming, 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 Ming. <laughs> now tell me this: has the has the has the has the Bruce Wayne been shipped? Tell me, keep me updated. Yeah, it's been shipped. It should be arriving by you April. Tracking? You have tracking. Yes, I do. The eagle is on its way. You're right. Ah, I can't believe it, Arch. I have an exam tomorrow. I barely studied for this exam. It's so Ooh. bad. It's so bad, Arch. And it's it's not going to be an easy exam. That's the worst. I'm probably going to have to pull an all nighter. What's tonight. it on? What's it on? Oh, it's um, some bullshit physics class because you need to take electives, you know, to finish all your credits. Physics. But I'm just going to pass fail the course. I'm going to count towards my GPA. Whatever. It's going to be an easy pass. Arch. There's no worries about that. It's just. <sighs> Ramsey, so $5. I want all the watches. How does one... We got Lolux in the chat. Let me put the link. Simple. simple. You've got to get a sub... To get the most iconic watch. Get the right. most iconic. Simple. You need to have a steel sports backbone, right? At least two backbone. steel sports. At least one Rolex and at least two steel sports before you can add anything else, right? Like a it's, sub and a speedy yeah. is a great two-piece steel sports. And then you can add pretty much anything you want because you've got your bases covered, right? Mm. Yeah, that's exactly what I would say there. And I then just work guys, very hard. <laughs> um, it's it is it is really quite amazing. It is very very amazing. What is um the watches? The watches, the watches and giggles. That's what you want. Watches and giggles, don't you? Right. Mm. They gotta make you happy, don't they? They do. If you're not happy, that was the point. I'm not even wearing one. <gasps> Could you mark? Because I'm writing notes. I don't want to. I don't want to scratch you. Know? Mm. Oh, it smells so good, Arch. Ooh. Maybe I should, Arch. You should. You should uh, enter my giveaway. I'll rig it so that you can get one box for a leather roll for you. <laughs> for yourself. Uh, you're quite, what are the odds? What are the odds? Right. right. I don't want to deprive your punters. That's okay. I gotta tell you, ooh, Lolex, Lolex, please. Lolex. How are you, man? Hey, buddy, how's it going? What are you guys talking? What are we talking about? Hey, man, we want to say to you, we had, I had a little prayer on my prayer rug. Hmm. Paddock okay. Gods. Okay. Uh, what did you pray for? More Rolex. Prayed for a pair of pink, pink Louboutins. Oh my God! Say, we talking Louis now? Sins. We're talking uh, movies now? Oh my god. Watches global level two five dollars. Here's JJ. Drew and E R quiet <laughs> this. Look, they they come on occasionally. They're cool. Mm -hmm. They're all cool. They're all cool. You know how people they come on, they get a bit sick of the show, they come back. You know, <laughs> it's kinda it's like all you can eat Mexican food. You don't want to do it every day. Okay. Yeah, I I've, I've been a little busy. So I've been trying yeah. to come as much as I could. But yeah. Um, I gotta say that Irix guy, I made videos how to clean my barbecue and how to <laughs> clean a chainsaw how to start a chainsaw. I thought there you go. ratings ratings gold, but they never really worked. Mm. Do how to unclog a toilet. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Oh, that oh, that worked, I'm... man. People searching for it. Yeah. Oh, you know what I did? This is a funny one. So I did a video. It said all my outdoor lights, you know, the light sockets outside the house, they yeah. quit working because I was trying to plug in Christmas lights. They wouldn't work. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And I found this little switch in the garage, and you pushed it, and it made all the switches work. So I made a video wow. of that, and it's had almost 100,000 views. People wow. were like, you saved me a trip to the electrician. I'm like, dude, you know, send me a super chat. I mean, send me a... Patreon, you know, this isn't free. Yeah. Come on. Yeah, that's exact. Come this, on. This, that's, 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 uh, yeah. um, I gotta tell you guys. <laughs> JJ LeCoop. JJ LeCoop. JJ LeCoop. JJ. I ruled. Marco, how's the Pepsi coming, man? I can't wait, man. The Bruce Wayne is coming. God, that's amazing. So what's the, what's the collection looking like? Bruce Wayne, no date sub. And and mm. the main, the main, you can't forget the main guys. Mm. Yuck. Are you still talking wow. main here? 
need the RG. I can't believe it, guys. You know what? I really can't believe that you're actually getting your most beautiful. Um, yeah. Getting. Can I just say? Work. Can I just say? If it was anybody else, I would be so jealous. Mm. I would just be green with envy. But mm. it's amazing. I, I like yeah, no one deserves it more than Marco because he actually knows watches. You know what I mean? Exactly. Like, if, uh, he knows the watches. He deserves it. it just if no I, one deserves anything more than anybody wow. else. But I'm trust no, you guys. No. I am. There's so kids grateful. around with Bruce Wayne's and mm. like our trust fund kids that just get watches for whatever. But like yeah, you know the background mm. of watches. Where it's like totally deserve it. It's awesome. Mm. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. I gotta say it's it's incredible. It's absolutely incredible. I'm like trying to stay like oh, fine. Arch, we got a super chat from Ari, REG. I'm not going to read this out. So. $5. Archie, been talking to the WhatsApp watch family about a chronograph to go along with my Datejust 41 and my Amiga 300 meter. Mm. I don't have Rolex level money for a Daytona. How do you feel about the Tudor Black Bay chrono? I got to tell you, REG, personally, I think we're in Speedmaster territory. Right. Speedmaster. By the way, can I tell you, you know what happened, don't you? So, no idea. Mr. Two, he bought the Polaris. He paid $10,000. I did the deal. He got sick of it. He hated it. I had a buyer for nine and a half. Mm. He sold it to a dealer for eight eight Aussie. Mm. And you know what happened yesterday? The dealer sold it for ten and a half. There you go. Whoa. Quick flick, gone, out of his life. Mm. If you're going to buy a Tudor Black Bay, I would say the best Tudor chrono I like is the... The Monte Carlo. The Tudor Monte Carlo Blue. I, I love the Monte Carlo. It's a two reg. Or the black. All, Either one. I like the orange. It's got an orange accent, orange in it, you know? Orange. But, I love orange. Arch, we, we definitely recommend it. He needs to cover his base because he's got a day chest 41. He's got the yeah. Omega Seamaster. He needs the Chrono. And uh, we said, what's it called? A Speedy. Arch, can I show you one I really like? Yeah, yeah, I, yeah, showed yeah, sure, sure. It, I showed it to the WhatsApp group, so I might as well show it to the yeah, yeah, everybody. Yeah, yeah, sure. It's a Speedy, but it reminds me kind of of uh, like a vintage Paul Newman on the bracelet. Yes. I don't know if uh, it, it looks so cool. It's really funky. Yeah. I don't know. That's another option. Huh. That's the option I told him. That or the first Omega in space, the Moonwatch, uh, the regular Moonwatch. Mm. Well, well, Tudor has a reverse Panda and the Panda now that they just released. It watches, right. watches and wonders. Mm. I, I really like the first Omega in space. My only problem is no bracelet. If it had a bracelet, I would say it's probably one of the best Speedmasters on the market. Right, so you can actually buy a bracelet, right? Because this is the same first Omega in Space case. Uh -huh. So the Omega sells a bracelet you that you can buy, can buy separately. Yeah, mm. that's and true. supposedly they fit on the end links. The the first Omega in Space wow. the end links fit on the case. So is mm. is the clasp on this one the just the regular Speedmaster clasp, or is it does it have an extension in it? Let me see. I have no idea. That's a big deal. Of course, it's not. I think it's this one right here. No, it's not this. It's not that. It's not that. Yeah, that's fine. I don't know. I don't know. I can't find it. Ah. How much are they going for? These ones here? Yeah. This is CK2998, so I think it's 10,000 Canadian. That's a lot. That's a lot of money. That's a lot of money. Right. I'll well, I mean, it's the price of a moonwatch, right? It's the price of a moonwatch. I think it looks cool. So cool. It's very cool. It's very cool. I like it's the very hands. Cool. That's the, the red hands, hands on it. You know, right. Applied logo. It's got applied yeah. indices, too. As opposed to... Applied indices. Very so underrated. Cool. I really like applied indices on, the, on this wow. one. I suppose. That's one option. Obviously, mm. I like the Tudor Monte Carlo, actually. That's probably... Yeah, I think that's a good pick, Arch. Hmm. Wow. Mm. Mm. Why are these all? Tuna, tuna, these are all the, the vintage ones. 
Hey, Marco, after you pull that one up, pull up the new uh, the new Tudor that has it looks very similar on the dial. It's white with uh, with black. Uh, yeah, that's the Panda. They got they release. Uh, you know what? I don't like it. It's too expensive, and the movement is. I don't know why they put a display back on it. It's just it's, it's a joke. It is too expensive, and I think it's a little bit too tall as well. It is very tall. I think it's hmm. forty it's mil, large. isn't it? It's forty one, and if they release that in the thirty nine, I think it would be awesome. Hmm. It's also right. very tall. It's quite a top heavy watch. That's beautiful. I love the. Monte Carlo. I think that is two reg chrono. That's so cool. Look at the orange hand. What what color? Mm. The, the hand is orange on the black as well, isn't it? Yeah. Right. Look at that. I love the orange accent. That's. I reckon that's. And they're cheap. You know what? These are very cheap on the secondary market. Right. Mm. The new Tudor Black Bay Chrono is. It's too thick, Arch. That's the problem. It is. Mm. It is so thick. And it's got faux rivets. <laughs> I love faux it's all the rivets, bot don't you? Oh, rivets. Archie, do you really like the faux rivets on the Tudor bracelets? Mm. I love them, cool. man. Hey, just give me a minute. I'm just going to take a toilet break. I'll be right <laughs> back. Enjoy it. Man, it's so hard for me. I really want to get a third watch now. It's it's Marco's getting this Batman. with awakening the beast in me. <laughs> I want a third piece. I need to leave all these WhatsApp groups. It makes me hungry for more watches. Exactly. It's not good, guys. Two is more than enough. It's right. more than what any person needs. That's loser not talk, guys. Loser talk. <laughs> yeah. Don't no, I actually, that. guys, I really like this uh, Diet Panda. And the more I look at it, the more I'm starting to realize how amazing it is. Because you know how you guys say that we need less watches? Mm -hmm. Well, this is a perfect perfect chrono that's one and done literally this could be your one and done it's got the date it's screw down everything you know speedy you can't have that as one and done because it doesn't have the screw down pushers it doesn't have a date but this thing not only does it look amazing it's it's a one and done that's a loser it's, talk no, now I, we're talking loser talk I mean, <laughs> we're talking I mean about it could be it you can't could ever be. live with just one watch I don't I think, think three is, right, you should. Three is probably ideal. Three yeah. is ideal. Like that's a I'm good balance yeah. between yeah. having a nice collection but not going over the top. Yeah. But Lolex, man, you're so young. Why do you need to add a third piece now? You just added the speed. Mm. Well, let's say if I was going to add a third within my budget right now, it would probably mm. be a date just. If I was going to add a third, like the mm. 41 hour date just, because I think it would, it would gel well with my collection right now. I got the speedy. I got a sub. It just a little dressier, a little more blingy. It could work with my collection. But um, I would ideally love to add like something with gold, like mm. a two-tone piece. That would be fantastic. But so bloody expensive. 17, 18 grand minimum. Too much. Mm, yeah, it's not These would be knockout. If they could come out with a two-tone ceramic. Yeah, that's, two -tone. I mean, I would open it. I'd open a fifth, fifth, sixth, seventh credit card. I'd figure it out. <laughs> if that came out, oh, yeah. That's I'd the wait, one. I'd wait years for that. The irony is that it will never come out because obviously there's less gold in it than the, the current model. And Rolex will not cheapen, cheapen it. That's just... I might have to... Ah, who cares? It looks so much nicer. It looks mm. so much nicer. You have the other one right there. Because it so looks it big. Down. It makes it look really big. The black dial. The, the Sorry, the black ceramic bezel makes it a lot feel a lot bigger than but the looks gold. So cool. I would probably cool. buy this too, to be honest. Like, I, wouldn't, mm. I wouldn't consider a two-tone Daytona, but this one I would probably, I would probably definitely consider. Mm. Yeah. Mm. It's so funny how women love Daytonas like to wear. That's well, they actually wear a pretty small, right? There, yeah, I I think they do, Tim. Yeah, here. Maybe that's the next one, Rolex. I gotta finish. The, yeah, I have to wait for a while. The three-piece Rolex collection. I'd have to sell my Doge coin. Why that? <laughs> Dude, I have, I have, I I think I have like. Oh my god. Less than a coin or something. I don't even know what it is. I bought like ten cents worth of Doge coin like a while ago. <laughs> it's like still like eighty cents barely. That's so funny. Mm. <laughs> ah, Dogecoin. It's insane. Yeah, man. These Daytonas are fire. 
Tim, are you still getting that 36 mil Explorer? Yes. Yes, I am. Now, now I, I, I ha yeah, um, I have no choice now. It's just a lot, actually a lot of people messaged me about getting the two-tone. GS Superman has donated money towards the two-tone. I cannot betray the fans. You guys? I cannot betray myself. Donating money to you guys to buy watches. That's yeah, little likes. They want us to. They they enjoy our pain and suffering. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the right. agony of owning a new watch. You know, it's just awful. You know what? Yeah, I'm actually. I'm happy. Nobody donate me money, please. <laughs> donated me half of the money for a date. Just I would feel like I'd have to pay the other half. So, <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Me, do not send me money, please, for the love of God. I'm selling stuff on eBay. I'm selling everything. Like I'm, I had DVDs. I sold my Futurama collection. I sold my Seinfeld. I sold. Oh, what else did I? Sell? I have books on for sale. I'm selling everything. I'm gonna be tomorrow. I'm gonna put even more stuff on on sale on my eBay uh, oh. channel. Nice my eBay channel. <laughs> Very cool. Wow. Let's see. What are Evan H in, in the chat here. Very vicious and rude, Evan. Oh, yeah. I sold my keyboard. Wait, what did he say? Uh, he was saying, wasn't planning on it, Lil X. <laughs> when I was like, don't send me money. He was like, yeah, no one was going to. Don't worry about that. <laughs> I think that the Porsche, the Porsche, that's the problem. Oh, that's funny. Yeah. People see the portion. They're like, whoa. That's true. You don't want to donate. That's like donating money to a homeless person and then they get in a BMW. Like, yeah. Tim, would you need more gold? Who cares about having more gold? Uh, what do you mean? Who cares about the more gold? Yeah, I would give up the gold on the bezel. 100%. It just looks so much better. It, no, no. I'm not saying. No, no. I know we don't care. I think just Rolex from Rolex's perspective, uh, the, the, because it will make the model cheaper. And I think, it, ah, because, I know, I know, no, I would, I would love for this watch to come out because I think it looks better. It's but the same price. Ah, oh, no, I don't think they can do that. Why not? That's the problem. They because that will feel like a scam from, from their from their perspective. It will yeah, feel they like they're scamming they their customers. No. <clears throat> Tiny Stacker made an interesting comment today saying, "I'm curious to see how the two ton Explorer will look." After a six month hike, right? And trust me, buddy. We are all thinking the same thing. <laughs> I definitely want to see that. I love seeing photos of Rolexes like on the forum sites after like a, when they've been worn with all the scratches and everything. I love the look of those worn Rolexes. I don't know about you guys, but me. Pavel, Pavel, so funny. Uh, congratulations for running secondhand pawn shop out of your home, Tim. Yes, yes, yeah. I'm getting rid of the guys. I was just drinking beer out of this copper mug. It's for sale. It's for sale. What do you think? It looks cool, no? Patina. Patina. It's like a game-worn jersey. Looks Tim, amazing. it's going to cost you more to ship it out. I'm going to wait until the prices for shipping come down. Looks good, no? I like how, much it. Is, how much does a cup like that cost? Or how much are you selling it for? Man, I paid way too much. How much do you think I paid for this thing? I'm an idiot. Laugh at you. I'm a moron. What would you cool. pay? Well, oh boy. it's Jacob Bromwell. What does that mean? Well, you can't see it. But that's the brand. It's exp It's made in USA, handmade. So what does that mean, Tim? What does that mean? What's the price? Well, it's made in USA. No, I think I paid like two hundred dollars for it. It's, no, it's way too expensive. I know, I know, it's ridiculous. Archie, ask Tim how much he paid for his mug right now. Hey Tim, how much did you pay for your mug? Oh, how much do you think it's worth? Look at it. And just tell uh, him. about five bucks. Oh, ho, ho. what? Oh, ho, ho, ho. Tim, tell him. Right it's now. handmade in yeah. USA. Was it made out of a soup can or what? What is that? <laughs> It's no, no, it's made out of copper. Recycled soup cans. Arch, it's come made on. out of copper. It looks like a, a grenade. <laughs> yeah, look, look, look from World War II. It's, it's got patina. Look how beautiful it looks. It's one one of a kind. How much was it? It's two hundred bucks, I think. It doesn't look comfortable. You know, I, you know what I love is my Starbucks hmm. cup. Ah, is that the one I sent you? The New York one. Yeah. The yellow. It, the, I yeah, love it's that. more practical. I it's it's. it's 
it's it, but if you like it that's all that matters tim as long as no i'm selling like it. it i'm selling it what happened to irix guy where's he gone he had to go he had to go i don't know how that guy survives to be honest with you <laughs> <laughs> well, where does he live, Harch? I he, mean, he makes he pumps a out lot of, a lot of vids. A lot of states in the U.S. are not expensive. Like you can live off of like ten, mm. twenty, thirty thousand U.S. a year. Can I ask you something? I was having a look at somebody's house in Canada. They don't have. I want to ask you this, Marco. They don't have like curbside, like gutters. They just have the road, and then it's in grass. Why don't they have, like, concrete? curbs in that there in, in we have road. drains we have drain systems right but our roads are made kind of like uh like curved you know what i mean so like it goes towards the the gutters yeah, but you don't have gu in the suburbia there's no gutters i thought ooh. right we don't have we don't have like we have drains but we don't have gutters is that because of the snow probably i i mean i i, I don't know why but it's probably probably because of the snow yeah what yeah. what do you have in australia like metal gutters no, no, no. We have like concrete, concrete. Okay, concrete. it's concrete. Yeah, I mean our roads are so trash arch because you know Montreal's the construction companies are owned by the, you know the, the politicians and the mafia and what have you. You know the shady groups, the shady groups. So it's like they get the, the contracts to redo them every year, so they never want to do it properly, right? Because then otherwise next year they're going to be out of work, right? Thirty thousand. Hey, can I ask you this, Marco? I want to ask you honestly. Okay, you're a young guy. You're starting to get your got a nice collection why wouldn't you let me ask i just want to i just want to throw it out there why wouldn't you move into a town like bagnall maine or what are the job prospects bagnall maine what, what are the job prospects in a city like that arch yeah but you wait hold on what's bagnall maine are you talking about the state of maine like united Bangor. maine BA, you know the guy who used to sponsor my fridge because all, all the Stephen mm. King novels start in Bagnor, Maine. Did you know that? Oh, hmm. well, I wouldn't lot of say them. all of them, a lot of them, yes. Um, but why wouldn't you just go to a low cost state and just <laughs> buy isn't a nice he, house? Isn't like Rolex. Michael, yeah, go on. why wouldn't you go into the south or somewhere like that, a cheap state, buy a beautiful house? Like that, you, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Why wouldn't you? No, do no, no. I get, I, I, There's a lot I, of I, negatives to that. There, I've definitely thought about it before. Like in Nevada, let's say you can get a decent sized house for three hundred grand in Nevada. I'm not talking Graham Stephan, Graham Stephan level. He's no, over no, a he, million, you know, he he's spent just, over a million. You could get something nice for under three hundred thousand in Nevada. Three hundred still a lot. I'm talking about one hundred and fifty. Well, that's your insight. You're getting crazy at that point. Like, I gotta. <laughs> I gotta have a right. little bit. That's little harsh. Bit. That's like Midwest of the United States. You're not getting that in Maine, are you? What he's essentially saying is, would would you move to a low cost area in the middle yeah, of like, nowhere? Like, I mean, you could buy a what nice would condo. I do for work, Arch? What would I do you for work? Say, that's the say problem. You got a two YouTube, bed. YouTube. Yeah. If you yeah, if he had a YouTube career, I could see why Mark would do that. But you got to live in the major cities to find work and get a career. That's essentially what it is. Plus, oh, Arch, my whole family. Like, listen, I would. If there was a good job opportunity, don't get me wrong, I would ship out, you know, in a heartbeat. But I mean, the thing is, I live my whole life in Montreal. Anchorage? My family's would in Montreal. Would you move to Anchorage? Where is that? Anchorage, Alaska. Alaska. Oh heck no, dude, I do it. Arch, I gotta tell you, like those places are, it's not fun in the winter. I mean, you actually have to. I'm pretty sure you have to get like special requests to stay in Alaska during the winter, because it's so like. It's so bleak. I mean, every day is just cold and dark, and it's like there's no there's no life. It's lifeless. You know what I mean? You get very depressed. People have no life over there. In Arch, you would you ever leave Australia? Well, Arch, Alaska. I mean, can you imagine? Alaska is like so cold. There's ninety summer is ninety days a year, right? Then you're basically in winter, the entire tell time. You this. I, that I, wears on you. I was miserable in Australia. I actually went to work for, it was a big mistake in some ways, but I went and lived in Thailand for two years. And you know what? Yeah. There's a lot of things I did wrong, but realistically it was amazing to go to it. Like I used to be so worried about, you know, people would think of me or this or that. 
Mm. And when I went to a different country, it made me realize, you know, Brisbane could be exploded. It could it could have a nuclear blast. Everyone's dead in Brisbane. And it would be in the news for one or two days, but then it would be back to normal. No one would care, really. Does mm. that make sense? Like, yeah. it makes you realize... How that small is, and insignificant most yeah, things are. Yeah, and, and, and I mean, i got to be honest with you, <laughs> Lolex. I think one of the best things is to actually go somewhere else and try it. It was amazing. I, I absolutely, like, like I did a few silly things, okay? I got a bit carried away with the partying, okay? Okay? Uh, but I got to be honest with you, it was amazing to go, because I was actually, I had my own business, and then it went shitty, and then I got a job that I hated. I absolutely hated. It was a help yeah. desk job. I hated it. Hated it. The... And I was stuck in a bad marriage and I had a few bad things. And then I went overseas and it was just like a breath. What did you do in Thailand when you were out there? Because I, 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 I wanted to travel there before COVID. No, I was planning I, I on making was, a trip. I was working for a friend who was buying and selling watches. Okay. But what it would wasn't you do? a good idea. It wasn't yeah. a good idea. Never, ever work for a friend. Can I please yeah. give you that advice now? Because yeah, of course. Hmm. Or with a friend, not for a friend, but go on. Because yeah. I realized I was no longer a friend. I was an employee. Yeah. You know, you, the dynamics hmm. change. You don't don't want to do that. But look, it doesn't matter. At least I did it, right? I got to be honest with you. It was incredible. I, I I must say this. It was absolutely incredible to try a different country. Um. Weren't you going there in your 30s? You, you know what stopped me? Can I say this yeah. to you, Lolex? Because yeah. I see yeah. a lot of you in me. You know what stopped me doing it? Before go on. <laughs> Love it. Go on. Okay. Because I had a BMW I bought when I was 19. Uh-huh. And I, I, the only reason I didn't do this... Be, I should have... You know what I should have done? I really wished... I had the BMW for a few years, sold it, and went overseas and tried something else. But I was too, I wanted my car. It was so important to me to have yeah. this car. It was part of my identity. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Sure. And what happened was I ended up selling it. I got a Ford Mondeo, which was an absolute piece of shit. <laughs> that the, in what America, they were called a Ford Contour. Okay. And, uh, I don't think Ford Contour, garbage. I don't remember that car. Yeah, they're, they're garbage. But you were... Weren't you going and, to the and Thailand? Then, and then yeah. when I had yeah. the shitty car, not only if I had the shit, everything turned bad and I still had the BMW, I could have a bit of solace. But no, I had this bloody piece of shit Ford, which had an intermittent starting problem, but let's not get into that. <laughs> and then everything was crappy. Um, i got to be honest with you. I... I, um, look, it was good to try a different country. It was amazing. It was an amazing mm -hmm. experience. I, I, I got to say, looking back on it, I mm -hmm. was held back by my, my stupid material. Look, it was amazing to go to a different country and reinvent it. Look, it was, it was, there's certain things I did, which were silly. And I, I, I understand that, but. Arch, can you just move your, uh, yep, your, sorry. your mic a little bit closer? Oh, sorry. Just a lot of people are saying you're... Yeah, is that better yeah. now? Yeah, much yeah. better. A lot Thank better, a lot better. So, yeah, 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 just always keep me in check. Look, guys, I got to tell you, it's amazing to travel and try something different. I, I, I look back on that now. Like, seriously, I, as I'm getting into my 50s, I'm approaching mm. 50, you suddenly realize these material goods, they don't define who you are. It's what I really enjoy is the experiences like material goods it's more the memory of the material goods than the actual material good itself Does can that i ask make sense can i ask you something archie sure. out of all out of all of your decades 20s 30s 40s which was your favorite which was your favorite decade actually that's a very good good question let me tell you this okay my 20s, I was very ambitious. I had my own business. I wanted okay. success. I badly wanted success. Right? Okay. I badly wanted success. And uh, you're just finding your way. You know, you're very immature. You're, 
30s. 30s. Okay, so in my 30s, I got remarried. I laid some foundations. I was very focused on the career. Career was important. And I got to be completely honest with you, it was a crop of shit. Career mm -hmm. is a crop of shit. You know this? Because you look back on it and I think it's crop of shit. Things that I worried about. I should have never worked. I try, I was, I remember in my late twenties, early thirties, I wanted my career so badly. I wanted to be successful and I put in all this overtime and I got shafted. I, I should never have done anything for free. I, I should have just been very cut and dry and said, I don't mind working, mm. but you got to pay me. So I, I was kind of my own worst enemy. Mm. So thirties, I got to tell you thirties. I still wasn't that sure of myself. I got to tell you realistically, when did I enjoy the most? 40s. Really? Mm, but the reason, hang on, let me say this. Let me put a few provisos there, right? You got to remember too. Just quickly, Toyota Mo, five bucks. Arch, which country do you recommend to visit first? Honkers, bangers, or singers? <laughs> Definitely Singapore. Singapore is beautiful, isn't it? I would say Singapore is, Singapore is actually like la Asia light. There we go. Because okay. it's not like it's Western prices and it's nice and clean and beautiful. Yeah. I, I reckon myself, I would say Singapore is easy to go into. Then you go to somewhere like, cause Thailand, they throw you in the deep end, sink or swim. It, it is, it is absolutely, it's brutal. It's brutal. Okay. One night in Bangkok, have you heard that song? You know that song. One night in Bangkok, da da, makes the hard man humble. It's, 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 it's an amazing city. I love it. I love it. But there's a big cultural shock. I know because one of my, but it's also yeah. A restaurant yeah. manager I was working with went to to back or to Thailand. I don't know if she went to Bangkok, but she said like it was a big cultural shock of hers the way they eat everything like because they're slurping and like you're not used to that stuff in america you know what i mean no, you're like, what the fuck are these no. guys doing and they're like licking their eyes uh, anyways but yeah. look let me say this to you let me say this yeah. to you. i reckon seriously for myself right it depends where you've had successes i had some success in my 20s mm. right and then towards the end of my 20s the success I had my own business. When I say success, I wasn't a millionaire. I wasn't like Steve Jobs or, you know. Mm. When I say success, I was probably earning above average wage. Say double the average wage. Oh. Mm. Okay. That's good. That's still good. That's yeah, that's good. probably the best way. And then at the end of the third, end of the 20s, I started, my business went shit and I started really, really struggling. So in my it wasn't enjoyable i suppose if i had been rich then as well it would have been really good mm. 30s i had to reinvent myself because i closed my business i didn't have a a degree mm. and i was trying to i was kind of just trying to scratch out where is my place so i found it a bit hard and i didn't have any money because i got divorced i got remarried i bought a new house with the wife but see, in the 40s, I'm starting to make reasonable money. I got four. I had six paddocks, six paddocks. Serious, between you and me, I've never had a collection like this in my life. This is really peak. Do you, do you understand what I mean? Like for me, mm -hmm. money's an important part to life. Right, like somebody in the chat said, forties are his best so far because you know who you are and you have more money, right? When you're in your forties, but you also you realize your career and all this dog shit, staying back for unpaid is just bullshit. You realize you become cynical. That's you're wiser. I, wiser. I got to tell you seriously, I think the forties are because your thing is, you're old enough to know better, but young enough to still have your health in most cases. Okay, so. I got to say, honestly, you know, I, I, I felt more comfortable in the 40s. I didn't worry about what was my job title or having the corner office. Mm. You, 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 know, you know what I mean? Mm. It didn't really matter. So I'd say the 40s, and I've, got, I've, I've actually found my peace with paddocks. I love my paddocks. I really do. Paddocks. 
Padex, Rolex. I got... I honestly... I got a nice... Got some nice... Look, I, I'm not... I don't have money for a car. Okay, so I don't have a car. Because you, you can't have everything. You know, Rolex? Mm -hmm. I mean, let's be honest. If you didn't have your Porsche, right? You could have an amazing watch collection. Yeah, but I... I... I've always wanted a Porsche. That's no, 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 no. I'm not criticizing your choice because yeah. I had a, I had a, a, a BMW, which mm -hmm. is not as good. A BMW is nowhere near as good as a Porsche, but it's probably yeah, the same as Rolex's. Sure. <laughs> it's probably, let me say, it's probably the same as your Porsche because cars are so expensive in Australia. In terms of, Does yeah, what sense? you're paying out. Yeah, in terms of what you're paying yeah. out. Australia. Yeah, probably about 30% more, 40% more than America. Okay. Um, yeah, sure. Um, no, now, the guess, thing is, you've right. got to put it into American dollars because if, yeah. if you the currencies are different, there's a number of yeah. variables, right? But what I'm saying is, seriously, I love my 40s. The 40s are good. The 50s, I got to tell you, it depends on, I got to tell you, see, in my case there, our house, we got half equity in that that's why i don't want to get divorced can i tell you honestly can i tell you honestly all women give you the shits okay they really do <laughs> but you know what lolex mm -hmm. the houses were five plus five i'd say probably yeah so just five to 550 the aussie dollars right it's just not, it's just a middle class home it's not it's mm -hmm. nothing flash it's it's not shit, but it's 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 lower middle class, okay? Mm -hmm. mm. We only owe two twenty on it. Mm. What's like you know, like that the mortgage is it's still expensive. Mortgage is th over a thousand a month, but what I'm trying to say is it's coming down. Every time I make a payment, huge chunk comes off. It's really I can see the payments ding 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 ding. We got an investment unit right mm. they're starting prices are starting to go so i'm thinking you know i'm i'm not as i'm not as terrible i got i got some little bit of property arch what do you think I you sell some... before the foreclosure crisis and then you buy two two properties uh, before... i to be honest with you i can't i i'm just happy to hold i don't want to sell anything i because they're probably you got to pay stamp duty stamp duty if you buy and sell there's always costs and that and you miss out i just i'm just that's our two investments House and an apartment, okay? House and an... We basically just used our signature as collateral. We used the equity in our home to secure right. the apartment. We put... We didn't even... We even borrowed... This is this. We even borrowed the stamp duty and the legal costs. Mm. Well, that's what so most people do. That's the what... unit was, was 330. We borrowed three, 346, okay? Dude, 26,000 for legal and stamp costs? Are you talking about closing? 10,000, 10,000, right, listen to this, 10,000, 10,000 dollars for stamp duty. That's, that's transfer costs. Yeah. Okay. 6,000 because the bank screwed me on the valuation of my home. I needed to get in mortgage insurance for the, that was $6,000. So that's unnecessary mm. crap. They screwed me. They screwed me. Okay. So, so 346 and legals was only two. Legals aren't expensive when you're buying. If you're selling, you've got to pay agent commission, which is probably about 15 on that sort of sale. But what I'm saying is that's now worth 400, right? That's enough risk. My wife, listen to this. Me and the wife, we got, this is Aussie dollars. We got 300,000 in 401k. I love how right. open you are about these things. <laughs> There's no point lying. Yeah, I don't even want to talk about my stuff. We'll go on. No, no, but what I'm yeah, saying yeah. is, right, we can access that when we're 60, right? Mm -hmm. You know what? You know what? I want to get a 5107. 5170. That's what I want to get. I want to get yeah, but Arch, if you pull, If you pull it out, doesn't it all, like, if you pull out enough money to buy, to buy a 5170, don't they tax you on that? It's all taxable mm. amount, right? Because it reduces your the yearly income that you after, made back then, right? After sixty something, you can take it out with no penalty. All of it? Mm. Yep. Jeez, 
I wish I was living in Australia. It's not like that in Canada. After, after 60, you can take it out, but you've got to pay some tax. Right. After 65 or 67, you can take it out with no penalty. Hmm. Right? So I got to tell you, you know what? I'm going to stay with this woman. You know why? Because I'll be broke if I leave her. Yeah, no way, man. You got to stay with right? her. If things are cool, don't rock the boat. And that's why I bought her two Birkins, just a, a Birkin, mm. and I got stuck with the other one. That's another. I'm going to actually be selling that other pink Birkin a bit later on, okay? We're going to be getting that. We'll, we'll move it. We'll move it, okay? We'll move it. Hmm. But, man, seriously, I got to tell you, I'm not rich. I'm, I'm middle, right? What would be terrible is if you were in your 40s, absolutely broke or destitute that mm. would suck and no job do, do you see what i'm saying it's got these so, two super chats very super quickly. chats yes watches global level two five dollars arch what are the five happiest moments in your life mm. see the thing is there's five happiest moments you'd have to say, look, there's certain personal life events, right? Mm. There's material goods events, mm. right? And there's sexual es es escapade <laughs> events. See, so I'm, I'm very much a compartmentalist. Okay, I compartmentalized my life. Okay. So mm. I keep it in the box because right? I have many things in my life that are really shit. Mm. But I have some things that are amazing. So look, 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 obviously the kids, the marriages, things like that, they're kind of, they're very cool. Happiest, happiest moments in my life. Let's have a think on that. Ha okay. Just without getting into the, just more on the material. I really think, I really think happiest moments of my life i gotta tell you something i loved picking up my bmw brand new from the showroom that was amazing number two i i would say you know my day date i really love that watch the day date in 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 gold that was with the diamond dial mm. i really love that yellow gold world time and the white gold one that was a great moment mm. I got to tell you, um, 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 I got to tell you probably when I won my court case, that was a good <laughs> thing. I didn't go inside. That was cool. Just that court case. I got to tell you, seriously, I would say the best moments in my life there, look, you know, you know what I really, looking back, I love Thailand. I love, mm. I love a couple, just between you and me, no one's watching, are they? No. No. Okay. A couple really cool, intimate relationships I had in my life, right? Like I had a weekend away and another weekend away. And I remember I rang my, this was when I was first, this is the first wife. I rang my mm. wife and said, hey, honey, everything's cool. I rang my girlfriend in Thailand and said, hey, honey, I'll be back soon. Everything's cool. And I had a secret mistress in Singapore. It was amazing. I had three women just content. Archie Draper, <laughs> Don Draper. So ridiculous. Here. And, it's and, madness. Yeah. And, and I got to tell you, but I got to tell you, mm. the happiest I've been is when I've actually mm. reduced a lot of credit card debt, didn't have, mm. didn't worry about paying the bills when you, you know, when you've paid them out, that really is happy. Uh, flying business class has been amazing. That has been amazing. Meeting some amazing people. Mm. Met, I met Terry Stern. He was so cool. He was so cool. Did Man, he recognize had, you or did you recognize I, him? I, I wanted to, and he was with these big wigs. And I said, Terry, can I please have, he, he, everybody likes to be, Hey, can I have your photo take? He's a, he's yeah. a celebrity, you know? Yeah. 
He's cool. He's very cool. <laughs> Yankee Doodle, five dollars. I was flat broke in my twenties. Struggled mightily in my thirties. Made millions in my forties. It took me twenty years to become an overnight success. Yeah, I haven't made millions, right? But I got to tell you, I got enough paddocks, enough mm. roller. I think sometimes <clears throat> you get very greedy. Mm. It's actually when you have had a a disaster. Like like a financial, pro you think, oh shit, I got to sell this stuff. Then mm. then it it goes away. You think, oh, at least I've like I got four now. I got four. I'm thinking, wow, that's amazing. Four mm. paddocks. I mean, I'm just a grub, really. You know, I mean, I'm not. I got four paddocks. I got three really cool Rolex. I've, I mean, if I walked into Rolex, right? Mm. I don't even want gold. It's too delicate, right? Mm. What would I want? I'd want a, some sort of diver. I'd want some sort of GMT function, and I'd want a wind and wear. Mm. I got three... nonsense, Art. You want a chronograph? You're not fooling yeah. anybody. No. You don't want any gold. You're like not you. fooling anybody, Art. You definitely want. I mean, he a wants Daytona. a Daytona, obviously. Of course. You know what? I never but even would... liked chronographs until Daytona's yeah. your wind and wear, Art. Daytona's the first, your wind. The first chronograph I ever loved, Breguet Type Twenty. I looked at it and thought, wow. Mm. Our break is terminal period, though, Arch. Oh my I, I know, I know, I know, I know. Arch, I know, I there's know. a 5177. Tara, pull it up on Corona 24. 16,000 Canadian. Arch, that has to be wholesale price or close That's to. That's a beautiful watch, but they're just soft. See, okay. people want steel sports. They want You're beyond steel. gold, though, at this point, right? Like, you wouldn't want a solid gold watch, right? Look, look, look. Of course I do. Do I want a Ferrari? Do I want a Porsche? Of course <laughs> I do. But I've I've kind of come to terms with I like steel. I, I, I actually like Rolex because when I had gold, even I had the gold Rolexes, you always think, oh, would it get damaged? But if you mm. put on a steel Rolex, okay. it is beautiful. White gold case. This is all rose laid. Uh, it's hobnail, it coin edging. It's absolutely. Right. And I mean, look at this. Look at the rotor. I mean, this is all guilloche work on the rotor. Reggae soft. Rose you it's I mean, very arch. But look, you understand. White gold that case. Is, that is like 19. It's like a pocket watch, right? So. Arch, these even, remind even, me of even old the paddock, George even Daniels the paddock, Even the paddock is very 1960s chic. That's kind of yeah. 1920s chic. Oh, this is timeless, Arch. This is timeless luxury. Yeah, but, yeah, but it's so conservative. It's well, beautiful. That's what, that's what makes yeah. it timeless. A sub is conservative, let's be honest, right? It's not an out there design. That's what makes it timeless. I got to tell you, seriously, I think, to be honest with you, when I prefer you're in, a sub paddock uh, over you know, a paddock. You know what? I, I've realized For something too. My dad is actually quite miserable. <clears throat> He's got a million, $1.2 million house, paid off Mercedes. He's got about. He's got quarter of a mil, three quarters of a million dollars in cash and stocks. Right, mm. and he doesn't have a lady friend. You, you know, he, he has, he has a look, but he doesn't have anyone to. You know, I think to be honest with you, when you get older, the danger is. I gotta say this to you, Marco. You want to grow old alone, right? Well, if you don't, look, 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 look at JJ. I don't think he is so wealthy, right? <laughs> no, no, what I'm saying is. He can't hitch up with somebody because he's scared of losing his money. Mm. Do, do you understand that? It's kind of sad. You got to find somebody before you become successful. Otherwise, yeah. you need you're to be always like, skeptical, you, right? You've, you've got to like, build your available. wealth with them. You've got to build, like, 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 like people say to me, geez, Arts, that's crazy. You bought your wife the burka. Yeah, but hang on a minute. Mm. I wanted, instead of putting 30 grand into therapy, Let's just throw a shitload of cash out of it and solve it. It's not so much that the Birkin solves the problem. You've got to find the thing she likes. In Plastic's case, she wanted a BMW four-wheel drive. Uh, you got to find the thing, right? Because gotcha. I actually wanted to get a... Tim, you got to find the thing. I wanted to get a baby Lexus. But my wife, I took it to the dealer... She liked it, but it mm. wasn't that she wanted the bag. And I wasn't prepared to spend it. You know how many years it took me to think, let's just get the bag. You know how many years it took me? Because I said to her, I said to her, let's get Louis Vuitton. 
let's get the garden party. I mean, come on, for God's sake! It's got as much leather as the bloody Birkin! <laughs> Why can't you just love it? No, 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 no. <laughs> they want the Birkin. Bring it took me many, home many, 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 many years to work out that's what they wanted. And it took one more good kick from me yes. for you to pull the trigger. The I didn't realize my, my older sister has Birkins. I, 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 I was talking about it. She has them. I didn't, I didn't even know. <laughs> what size? What, what I, hardware? I, I know nothing about. <laughs> Told me. He's like, I have some Birkins too. How I'll many? Have some photos. He has a few. Has a few. Yeah, send, send me them. Put them on the WhatsApp group. Because you know, on, on the you know the Goodfellas WhatsApp. I want to see. GS too. Superman, $20. What are Tim's thoughts? Brege versus paddock dress he wants to know mm. tim's opinion mm. tim tim mm. i'll give you the mic you, you know you know what i think Brege has that super vintagey look it mm. looks super vintage mm. whereas uh paddock is very modern i think 60s chic you know yeah. 60s you, you, yeah you, 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 so i'd say it this way a Brege. i don't know if you know cars that well it'd be like a bentley blower that okay a, yeah that was a 1920s yeah, yeah, yeah. Race, yeah the, you know, yeah. big, you know, yeah. you know, you know, those sort of cars, big right? Wheel, something like, yeah, uh, yeah. you know, what's his name? Uh, Calvin Klein? Who, who's that? Who's the guy oh, who has? Ralph Lauren. Ralph Lauren. Yeah, he, he, he has a Bentley blower. It's called yeah. a Bentley blower. It's a yeah. big thing. Yeah. Whereas a, a big paddock. Wheel. A paddock is kind of like a 60s yeah. pagoda Mercedes. You know, that pagoda it just is yeah. suave and sophisticated. Yeah. It's dated. Yeah. Yes. But it's kind of 60s, whereas yes. Brege is 1920s. You, yes. know, you know, and Brege is also super, super amazing. It's just... Yeah. Oof. All right, because Brege is probably the most important brand in all of... The probably historically speaking, it. right? Oh, the most important brand look, in all of watches. I got to tell you, the thing is, there's a great video, Time Machines. I've watched mm. this video probably a hundred Oh, is that that documentary? Years. Yes. Yes. yes, that's a good one. Dunk. That was and so good. He says, no, the two brands, the most important two brands is Rolex and Patek. Yeah. Okay, oh, that's what he says. But he does say... But I'm talking about movements, right? Movements look, and innovation. Look, what he does say is Breguet invented the tourbillon. Mm, they invented yeah. so many... The automatic wristwatch. I mean, he didn't invent it, but he... he was he created it so it could be mass, mass produced or serially exactly. produced. Exactly. Look, I think realistically... Reggae kind of fiked things up because they were in France. They moved to Switzerland. That's why they're never part of yeah. the Holy Trinity, because they were in France. Right. Mm. And they switched they hands moved. so many times. And... Yeah, they've been a bit of a phoenix, you know. Right. But 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 with that said, Breguet is... Quality. Ama they, they made Breguet aircraft. I don't know if you know that. There was an aircraft which, is owned, which was actually made by the Deset. An amazing, amazing sort of company. Hmm. I would say myself, the problem is, look, if you're into that genre, Paddock is the leader. Yeah. Paddock right. is it. But our, this is so much paddock. better. About, this is like half the val half the price of a Calatrava arch. The like Calatrava, a five you're one paying two the Paddock seven. tax. You're paying yeah. the Paddock tax because yeah. you know what? Two seven or this. For the name. I mean, you know what? You could have the same arguments Ooh. for some of the Vacherons as well. Hundred like, percent. It's also you know? it's very similar 100%. to our Ming argument, right? You're no, it's not similar at all. There is no argument. No. Yes. Yes. Tim, Tim, I like Ming. I don't like Ming that much. Come on, Tim. No, dude. <laughs> the fantasy doesn't like, go that far. It's the name. But the tell me this. Path. You know something that... We're in the secret why club. You, why didn't you, instead of getting this bruce wayne you could have got a beautiful brega yeah yeah let's talk about that mark yeah, no, why no, no, didn't yeah. you do that, that. you, you already mark. got yeah. the sub you need, you need a rolex backbone arch you need at <laughs> least one steel rolex two is preferable arch listen but, marco could talk all he wants about these breggas but when the chips are on the table he's going rolex and we all know it right yeah but i'd like to add one in the future that's what i'm saying but you need a oh. backbone you need to set How up many the band the backbone, the back. so like for yeah, every piece of the bag, it's like 30 pieces. 
Hey, listen, oh, a like, gray is so long, guys. I got two two roll The backbone is so the long. The Ming, Ooh. the Pam, and now I can add something else. I need a one chronograph, probably a Speedy, maybe a Type Twenty or Type Twenty One, maybe a Feels Zenith of like Mara. Well, Walker, you already have three fantastic watches. Yeah, I don't need anything more. Look. No, no more for ten years. No more for ten, twenty years. Ooh. Nothing. Burbank had two dollars. Marco, Ming or Omega? And well, Arch, this is yeah, what I was saying. Okay, let's let's objectively look at these two watches. Okay, Arch. One is a Chinese-made case and bracelet, mass-produced caliber. It's a chronograph, but it's a mass-produced Lamagna-based caliber, right? And it's selling for what is it, eight thousand dollars? Would you the buy that, Arch? One, the three eight six one. Look. Well, it doesn't matter. All of them are the same mold. They look well, like Arch, he was saying marketing Ming is all marketing hype. Well, isn't a Speedy, the 1861 Speedy, all marketing hype? I mean, let's be honest, right? It's a mass-produced caliber. It's a Chinese-made case and bracelet, right? I mean, not anymore, but let's be honest. It got caught in the past. Yeah, yeah, Marco, yeah, yeah. I have a question for you. I have a question for you. Do you think the, the when when they put the man, the this watch was on the moon on the back of the moon watch do you think that's marketing or of course think, really i'm being sarcastic right i know <laughs> but but of course it is right really but it was to the moon well not that particular I mean, one it's not even not it's, the one that they wrote the one that was to the moon they didn't have this watch was to the moon because it was actually to the moon but I'm well just arch you know they changed that so the speedmaster is called the speedmaster professional moon watch because of the crown guards right because the crown guard speed masters mm. so all the vintage speed masters with no crown guards are just known as speed master but the speed master mm. professionals with the crown guards which is the moon watch right are all called the professional to make that distinction right really? but yes. right right so the so that's that the really valuable of the speed masters without that you know right exactly the, the, the no really, crown guard really, speedies really, exactly. yeah, yeah hold on we got watches. Globe good. level two, five dollars. Edibles kicking in. <laughs> but I, I gotta tell you guys, you know what? What brings a lot of joy is doing these shows with you guys, Marco. The team just seems so good. It's not like I gotta tell you, there's there was a lot of ego when I did these shows in the past, hmm. All right? But here. Marco's just he's just keen he just he's doing really he's interrupt well. a little too much right <laughs> you know we got we got I tell you what we got JJ JJ sensible and you know he just wants to have a bit of fun he bought we those got, Louis Vuittons we got yes he did and we got Tim Tim's Ooh. Tim's kind of Tim's kind of just crazy you know we need the contrarian Arch, the we need the contrarian if everyone exactly. agreed all the time it wouldn't be any fun exactly. you know yeah. and, and we got Lolex Lolex is I I you know, each of you have so done cool. things. You know, I, I so badly wanted a Porsche. <laughs> so, so badly wanted one, right? And I got to be honest with you, you know, I think for me, I'm better off to put my money into into Padex and Rolex, really. Cause look, look, that's my, that's my area, you know. But me buying a Porsche isn't going to help my channel terribly much. I know, Tim... Bank it Tim is telling me I should shoot Porsche videos. He's telling me I should do videos on that. Porsche. You I'm not that, that person in general. I don't even tell people I drive that car. I have to do I don't it. Like, I don't like to. that attention in that way. You got to move. You got to decide what makes you it. happy. Porsche Speedy channel. Speedy this is what we need. Speedy and a sub. That makes me happy. Mm. Speedy and a sub. And a sub. But I, I do need a third. I do need a third at some point. I know what to do. What to do? Paddock, Philippe. Go Paddock. Or, or a two-tone Daytona. Mm. That would be nice. If I hit the lotto, I'll do that. But I think you need a Paddock. Is that... Paddock is amazing. Paddock mm. is amazing. Paddock right? and Porsche. <gasps> My only problem with Paddock is I can't afford the service cost on them. On the Paddock? <laughs> yeah, they're so expensive. That's the, that's the only problem. But, I no, no, you just with... get a, get a cheapy one. That's that's the only problem I have with Porsche. I can't afford the service costs on Look at us. It's Freaky Friday again. <laughs> we just switch bodies. I like this Here we question. Go. Watch me go broke. Twenty five bucks. <laughs> Twenty five bucks. Arch. 
If you had a million dollars tax free, what would you do? I oh can't. my god! You know what? Let me say this to you. If ever you were really, really depressed, I've found it. I've looked at it and said, what would I do if I had a million? I have asked this question of myself. Let's go around the panel on this one. I've, I, yep. and this is this is where it comes into play when Archie talks about would you ever move to a low cost state? Okay, that's okay. what I would do. Let me let me or tell you off. this. What I think you got to do is this. I think you got to have moderation. Right. Okay. You got to look at and say, what do I really, 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 really want? Okay. So I would say, you know what? A what you really, dollars. really, really, really want? Okay. So <laughs> what I would buy is okay, because I've already got two. A million dollars, I can't afford to get divorced and buy a new wife. I'd stay with, because I put the Birkin spent costs in there, right? Hmm. I would, you know what I would do if I got a million dollars? Let's say it came today. You know what I would do? Mm. Tell us, tell us, tell us. I would buy, I'd buy a two-bedder apartment at the Gold Coast for about half a million. Oh, yeah. Nice. Okay. So I, I want to be, it, it, I know exactly the apartment block. I had a fling with a lady who had an, an apartment there. I want to buy one under 500. Okay. So, so let's just say 500. Okay. Then, you know what I would buy? I want to buy a car because I love cars. Okay. What would I buy? What would I buy? What would I buy? You know what I do? This is silly because you guys don't even think this is anything much. He's going to say C class or something. I'd buy an E class. Yeah. No, those are nice. E classes are super nice. Okay, so that's a hundred thousand, right? It's a hundred thousand for an E class. For an E two hundred, the basic poverty pack E class, actually be a bit more. But let's just let's just keep the fantasy going. Okay, let's yeah, not let's get... just, I won't. I won't. Let's <laughs> keep not go going, Arch. Keep going. Keep going. Five, yeah. So you're at six hundred thousand spent. What, what else? Okay. You have four hundred thousand left. Okay. I got to tell you the truth. Okay. Mm. <laughs> I'd buy a Boxster for another hundred. <laughs> yeah. That's seven hundred thousand. How do you need the Mercedes? Well, come on. Because Why the wife, I want the wife to have a car. Oh, you want, want two nice, two set. You know what I mean? Three hundred thousand left, Arch. We'll people say Arch doesn't have a heart. An investment property. Please tell me, Arch. You tell me you get an. No, investment. no, no, no. Stop, stop. We got, we got the unit. The unit is paid off. Two cars. That's seven. the investment property. Arch. We got three hundred left. Let me keep going. He's okay. living in the investment property. He would pay his place off and he'd rent it out, right? Let me. No, Whatever. No, 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 no. Listen to me. I would move into the apartment at the coast because it's fully paid off. So that's a principal place of residence. The, the houses with the mortgage, that would be the ones that become the investment properties. So listen to me. Hear me Grant, out. Hear me out. Are you listening. Get a Hear pen. And write this okay. Down. So we've got three hundred thousand left. You know what I do with the three hundred thousand? What would you do? Okay. Okay. Listen had to it, this. Had it. Had it. One hundred thousand into shares and cash. Okay. One hundred. So we got two hundred thousand left. One hundred thousand. I would buy a fifty-one seventy. That's it, right? And the remaining one hundred thousand. Well, Crocodile Birkin. <laughs> Oh, fuck me, Dad. No, Arch. Oh. Okay, wait. Let's go. I want to go around the panel on this super chat, but let's just Michael, answer this you know one because he did give us a good twenty dollars super chat. Yeah. Let's yeah, do yeah. this one first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do this one first. Yeah. No, I mean, let's go around the panel after you yeah. read the super chat. Oh, GS Superman twenty dollars thoughts on the two tone Explorer thirty six <laughs> picket over the Sermit? No. I'll be honest, if you're too small, it's a beautiful watch. I wished it was in 39. I, did it. I wouldn't be paying the money. Too expensive. Just crazy. Mark, what would you do with a million, million dollars? What would you do? Right. do? Arch, talking I gotta Canadian, right. it has to be Canadian. in the currency you're in. So if you're in Australia, it's a million Australian. In your case, a million Canadian. What would you do? Right, so I'd buy one He'd buy the one. rights to, to Garassi Junior High <laughs> and live off the residuals. Let, let's say I, I'd uh, get one condo, like modest, 350,000 Canadian, something like what that. What about what city? City, city, city? Montreal, somewhere in Montreal. Montreal, okay. Right, I would stay in Montreal. Then I would mm -hmm. put two deposits on two condos, two more condos, so investment properties. I'd put 150 on both. So then that would bring my total... And obviously, I would pay the rent with obviously my job and 
the rental income that's coming in. So I'd have mm-hmm. three condos. That's five hundred or three hundred fifty plus another three hundred, six hundred fifty thousand. Yeah. I have the Bruce Wayne. I have the sub. I would just yep. add. Uh, I would just add uh, a VC history nineteen twenty one in platinum. Yep. 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 Or do I go FP Jorn, Arch? Do I go FP Jorn? Uh, no, VC Hysterics. That's probably 50,000. 50, 50, okay. No, it's 60,000. Let's do 50 because it's easier. So that'll bring Get my total. Get the platinum to, one. Get the platinum one. Right, right. So that brings my total to 300,000 on the two deposits yeah. and then yeah. 350. Yeah, 700,000. So I have 300,000 left. Yeah. Put it all in shares. S and P five hundred index fund. What about S&P a car? 5- car? 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 No, no, absolutely not. Our drive the bus, take the Uber, take the bus, Uber. Our two hundred thousand in cars is crazy. There's no point asking Tim. He just put it in with the other million that's already in the bank oh, account. Oh, oh. <laughs> I wish, I wish. But if I had one million, yes, I would uh, get a van and. That's it. I would. Uh, I would. Get, I would. I would retire and do YouTube it's not enough for to life. Retire, I don't think. You've got to I do think some... if you're in van, if you are, if you know what you're doing, it's that's enough. I think. Just have to be super, super frugal, and do YouTube for a living. That's it. <sighs> that's hey, it. You could buy I'm my Archie Luxury channel for nine hundred ninety-nine thousand. There you go. <laughs> there you go. Income stream for life. Lolex, what would you do with a million dollars? Uh, the boring answer, I don't want to go over that. Fun answer, I go to Vegas and throw it all on red. Oh, <laughs> no. Going all. Damn. Yeah. The boring answer would probably be I take 500000 of it, and then I'd spread that across. i just buy income property in L.A., a couple condos, maybe something commercial. Uh, I'd max out my 401k. What? <laughs> Boring. Oh I'd my god! I'd sell my watches. I'd sell my watches because I'm going to be upgrading what? for sure. Yeah, oh, okay, I would be okay, upgrading. Okay. What are you upgrading to? I'd get no. Keep the sub. You have to keep the, no. the note sub. sub. Sub is going. I'm getting a day date. No, to... I'm getting a day date forty, and then with that with that uh, money that I paid at in AD, I'd be like, "You're getting me a Daytona." I'm not even asking. I'm saying you're getting me a Daytona. So I'd have a Daytona and a day date forty, and then I'd probably move. To like Nevada or Arizona and buy like a a mid sized house for like two hundred grand. And that's it. What do I do? Disaster. Absolute guys, we're gonna wrap this disaster. up, guys. We're gonna wrap up today's show. Anyone doing an after show? I already did the pre show. I gotta study. I gotta study. Okay, I'm study, gonna go study. Eat. Guys, we'll be back tomorrow. There'll be more food. fun tomorrow. Hello. Guys, Great I show, actually guys. do oh. find it. I find it oh, tacos. very guys, real I quick. find it very interesting to run that thing in your head. What would you do if you want? Nice to I fantasize that, on a situation that'll good. never happen. <laughs> well, never it's not going to you never know. Never right, say never. never. Right. It's often good just to think, what would you do? What would you do? Ooh, Tim is like asking a question. You. Tacos or halal? Definitely the tacos. <gasps> tacos. It's actually also a longer walk. Better exercise. Okay, guys. See you tomorrow guys bye everybody